Uh, okay, so welcome again and welcome to Beth. And we'll wait, we're not gonna wait for the other gals. Hopefully they'll pop right in. And we're just gonna very quickly uh, review. I sent a quick sheet this morning, unfortunately, very late, I'm sorry. Just to remind you the three letters that we learned and the three vowels, because we're gonna learn more vowels today. And if you don't keep up the letters you learn, but the vowels after a while, it's like looking at Morse code or braille, you've got to practice them and you've got to know them because it's a cumulative you know, issue of, of piling one on top of the other. And I don't want anyone to fall behind. And if you do, as I said, just call me up and say, give me you know, 10, 20 minutes and I'll just run it through with you. So let's go to screen share and you should all be able to see what I'm doing now. And again, Shalom Aleichem, Beth, we looked at this last week and just for Beth's, the, uh, oh, how did I do that? Why does that thing, oh, there it is. We just wanted to take note, Beth, that lines two, four, six, eight are the same exact line. So it looks like you have to learn this whole big Mishagas, but in essence, four of the lines are the exact same. And one, three, five, seven, except for the first line, Word one and two are different. Words three, four, five, whatever it is, are the same on each one, one, three, five, seven. And then starting on line three, five, seven, it's only the first word that's different. So I'm not counting, I can sit here and count. Maybe this whole thing is 15 unique words. And how, there we go. Hello, who's that? I can't see who it is. Someone just joined us. She's on, uh, she can't speak. She's on uh, Buddy Crawler. She's on mute? She's on or mute. Blah. Let me go back because I don't want to lose anybody. Hi, unmute. Unmute yourself. Hi. Hi. Okay, and remind me your... Valerie. Oh, that's right. But now, do you want to be called Batya or Valerie? Batya. Okay, so I'm circling Beth is a Beth now. Valerie's not gonna be that anymore. Welcome, welcome. So we're just gonna quickly review last week. And I did send, I think all of you, but if I didn't, I'll resend it, the link on how you listen to the recordings. And you have to log into the Women's League website. It's gonna ask you your email, which you know, and your password. You're gonna say, I don't know which password for Women's League. Just say, I forgot. It's gonna give you some, you know, A, B, F, T, K, 172. Don't bother copy. Don't bother typing it. Just cut and paste it. Then you can change your password to your dog's name or whoever. Much easier. And this way it'll be a saved, you know, password. And the links are there. It'll And, and there's an email that I'll send you. If I sent some of you on how you can listen to last week's and then hopefully this week's. So welcome, welcome, Baja. Okay, so now let me go back to sc screen share. And again, there's no judgment here. I know we all have lives, but practicing really does help. I promise you. Okay. So here's Shalom Aleichem. We're not singing it because I'm just not that mean. And again, last week, the three letters we learned for the gals who weren't here, Mem, M-E-M. -E so if you have the book, you want to write the name of the letter, it looks like a little mountain and it's an M. So that's how you can kind of remember it. I can't go back and do the whole lesson, but it was in the recording. The three vowels that we learned are E, A, and F. One dot is a long E. Two dots is an A, like the word in the word gray. I'm, I'm going to do it in colors because I have a little cheat sheet to send to you, which I did not send yet, but it's in my little pile here to send to you. It's the cheat sheet of colors. I find it fast, I'll show it to you. Of course, I'm not going to find it that quickly, right? No, of course not. And I do it by color, so it's much easier to have a color chart. And the three dots is in red. You can write the word red next to it in the red crayon. And it's the three little dots with a short E. Uh, uh, so it's uh, E like in green, A like in gray, and F like in red. You know, long E, short A, long A. It, in English, it's easy, but it's going to be confusing. So I please study. Please, please, please. 
I shared last week with the ladies that weren't here that all the letters in my world in Hebrew live in a box. And where their shape is in the box will differentiate some that look very, very, very similar. And my example, just to show you, and I'm not gonna review the whole class, just this for a second. In my example, just to show you, if there was my magic box, because I taught little kids, the letters live in a different place in the box. These are three different letters. I don't have to worry what they are now, but you see where they live in that box. And yet they're the same shape. It's just how wide you make it or how long you make it. So Hebrew is no different than learning a lowercase b and a lowercase d, the lines on the other side. A lowercase a, the line's just shorter. A lowercase p, the line is below the line. So in English, you learn to differentiate them. And in Hebrew, I'm telling you, I promise you will. You won't. All right, let's go back. All right, Lamed is the only letter that sticks on top of the box. But if you look at the top part of the Lamed, it looks like a letter L. The straight line on top and the line across. So that's how you can remember Lamed, L-A-M-E-D. We're just going to buzz through these for the girls that were here last week. Now, today we're going to learn the other version of this letter. So I might as well get two birds with one stone. There are five letters in Hebrew that have a final shape. There's no lowercase and uppercase in Hebrew, but there are five letters that have a different shape when it is the last letter of the world. And they're called a word, and they're called final whatever. This letter is longer than the box. And it is a final chaf, C-H-A-F, like hala, except hala would never be the final because why? Why would you it's never beginning. see the shape if you were spelling <laughs> hala? It's the first letter. That's because it's the first letter, there you go. Okay, so final chaf ends a word only, always. Sometimes in this book, they want you to remember words and letters. So they'll trick you and put it at the front. Just it's not because it's spelling a real word. It's just, they want you to remember that's what that final cough sound is. And it's a little confusing. I don't know why the, did they did that, but sometimes they did. And the third, the last thing just to share from last week as a quick review is that Hebrew is phonetics. It's, it, it, I don't think phonetical is a word, um, but I'll make it a word, it's phonetical. We'll just make it a nice word, put it in the dictionary, somebody. So we you see letter, vowel, letter, vowel, letter, vowel. When there's not a vowel to the next letter, as in line two, there's no vowel for the final chaf. It just becomes part of the package with the first letter and its vowel. And it becomes a syllable. Mich, mech, 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 mich, mech. I could have given myself a much easier one to do. Now it doesn't happen often, but look at line seven. Me le, me le, me le, me le. But let's go to line eight. Me le, me le, me le. Melech, the word is king. I do not speak Hebrew. I give you the apology up front, but there are certain words I certainly do know. And I do know some roots of words, which you're going to see repetitively. So that's what's helpful in Hebrew. But Melech, if you remember the song, David, Melech is Yerwell. Melech is king. David, the king of Israel. David, Melech, Yisrael. And then line 10, Mi, Melech. Look at that. It's three syllables. Mi, Melech. And that's going to be in our... Shalom Aleichem song, me melech, melechei hamachim, right? You've heard it. Okay. So now we're starting new things. We totally confused already. I'm sorry. But I, whoa, what did I just do? Sorry, sorry. But I sent the recording of last week's. So I don't want to confuse you. And you're welcome to say, stop, stop, stop. You're going too fast. It's fine. Now, I want to show you 
I don't know what I need me to do. Check my speaker. I don't want to check my speaker. I'm not restarting my computer now. This is not the time. Okay. Ah, oh, it keeps wanting to reboot me. Oh my God, not now. Oh my God, not now. Okay. So we're on page five of unit one. If you have a book and if you don't follow along and if you want, just take a picture of the page as, as much as the page as you want and you can enlarge it at your home and, and study from the photos. If you'd like to just do that week by week. You can do anything in our little world. So a chaf, C-H-A-F, is one of those letters that has a final shape. Now we learn final chaf, but as I said, four of the five letters that have the shape of a final shape, it is the exact same shape of the letter, except they take the bottom line and they swing it down below the box. Now today, not to confuse you totally, we are gonna learn a final mem, it's the only one that changes its shape. All four of the other five is the letter swing down the bottom line and it becomes longer than the box. And that is the final letter. Does that make sense? Okay, too fast, everybody. You're all going nuts yet? Anybody going crazy? No, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna make this really big and now I can <laughs> see it. But I, I kind of know who's here. Just let me just double check. Shari, did you ever get on? Hope we didn't lose her. And Sonia, we've never found yet. And Michelle, did you get on? I don't know what happened to her. Okay. So we have, just going through it, Elise, Lenore, Batya, Ashley, Mary Ann is absent today. She had to take the kids to the doctor. And Beth, is that correct? Anybody else that's on? Okay, here we go. We're not saying these because none of us have enough throat spit to do this first couple of lines. But they're... Got it? So on line three, I'll do it once just so you can see it and then you're going to suffer through it and do it yourselves. Because I'm semi-mean. Line three is just P, P. K, 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 P. Now, what would not be correct if this was a real word on line four, somebody? If line four first word, why is that not a real word, the way it's written? The second letter would have to be a final. That's Sorry. correct. Very yeah. good. The second letter would have had the final cuff shape. And it doesn't. So this is truly a worksheet just for you to, you know, he intersperses the regular shape and the final shape anywhere he wants to, just for you to see it and know it. So it's he, hey, hey, he, hey, 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 hey. All right. <clears throat> now I'll let you girls suffer a little bit. So we're gonna, I didn't want to waste your time with the beginning ones. If you want to really just practice quickly, like a almost like what do you call those uh, cards you had when you were kids? Um, what do you call those cards? Flash cards. Flash yes, cards. cards. Thank you. Thank you. Just go to line one of each of the pages that we do because that is that new letter. So you can just keep practicing saying it and looking at it. The more you look at it, the more it's going to be, you know, set in your brain and you know, sight recognition, which will be helpful. So let's go to line five and we'll start with Elise. And there you go. So let's see how she does. And just everyone else do it silently and we'll see how she manages this line. Um, K, Le. Let me just do that vowel again, dear. And it's not really a K, it's a K. Good. K, Le. It's the same vowel, so don't change it. Go ahead. Okay. K, Le. I'll do it for you. Okay. He, Lee. It's a he, she. Lee. Okay. There he, you go. Lee. Um, he, me. Good. He, me, he, me. Oh, he, me. He, me. He, me. He, me. Good. Uh, he, Lee, he, le, he, le. Okay, he, la. No, 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 you had it right. Don't go wrong. You did it right. He, lay. He, lay. 
Key like Lech. almost like the lake with the chuch sand at the end. Key Lech. Key Lech. Go ahead. The last one. Um, K Lech. What's the vowel? K Ka. Uh, K Ka. Lay Lay Oh, Le it's very hard to say that. Lay. Lay. Ka. K. It's an A. Lay K. Lay K. Ah. <laughs> not really. It's one syllable. It's, okay. I, I don't, you know what? I'm not going to be that mean, but everybody else watch it. I'm not going to make her do it again, but look at this. So it, we're on this one, right? Lay. K. Lay K. It, it's very hard to say. In all fairness, why would I make anybody suffer through that? But the vowel is what you have to remember. It is an A. Two lines, next, two dots next to each other is an A. So again, practicing the vowels is so important. Okay. Good. Perfect, but not quite. But pretty good there. Lenore, why don't you do line six? Okay. Uh, lacha, lake. Lache. Now, lache. you'd never have that lamid sitting there with, by itself to start a word. So we're just giving it an L sound. It's not fair, but we are. So, lache, good. Oh, lache. the whole word is the same thing. Sorry. The whole thing. Oh, good. Lache, 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 lache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk is cheap. Go to line seven. Melache? No. Mele. Mele. No. Go to the vowel under the mem, everybody. Look at line seven, me, first word. Me, oh, milach. Milach. Yeah. Milach. Uh, not Is it milach? All right. Almost, you girls. Okay. Let's look at line seven. Milach. Let's milach. do it. Milach. 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 Um, meal. Okay. One syllable is the meal, like I'm having a meal. Oh, meal K. Meal K. Everyone see it? Now that I do all over it. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. So look at it. It's two syllables. Meal K. It is the same the whole world work. Right. So let's all just look at it. It's better for Lenore doing it 10 times. Meal. <laughs> let's just all do it together. Meal. meal. Good. It's a, this is a little confusing, I know, but pretty soon you're going to say, oh, that was easy. It seemed hard at the time. So let's do line eight. Bacha, you want to give it a try? Two syllables. I'll give you a hint. It's a two syllable word. Your whole word, your whole line is one word. Mill, luck. No. What's the vowel under the two dots? Let me remind Mel, you. Eh. Okay, let me do the two dots is a long A. A, okay. Melek. Melek. It was close, but one syllable is Me. male, like I'm going to put a letter in the mailbox. Male. Mel. Hey. 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 So I'll do this the baby way. Male, because it's that long A, and then the hey is a long A. Male, hey. Male, hey. Male, hey. Good. Oh, oh male, hey. There you go. It's the same thing. Mel K. Mel K. Mel K. Mel K. Good. Now, just, I'm not bothering you, I promise. Just remember, it's not a K sound because we're going to have a, That's okay. We're going to have a real KK later. So this is a but it's okay. I, I knew where you were going. It's male K, okay. but, you know, just trying to be kind to your throat. <laughs> Ashley, want to do line nine? Yes, I'll give it a shot. Um, so I have Mel, hi, hey. Here you go. Do it again. Mel, hey, 
Mel, hey, Mel, hey, Mel, hey, Mel, hey. Perfect. So there she, between eight and nine, you just changed the vowel on the first letter, nothing mm -hmm. else. So line eight was the May vowel, A, and Ashley did it right on line nine. It was the E, like in the word red. Mel, like uh, Mel Torme. Oh God, I'm too old. Mel Brooks, <laughs> really old. 90, whatever he is, 95 probably. Melche, 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 Melche. So let's ignore the schmutz on the first letter of line 10. It's the same word anyway. And Beth, what? let's just give the L a little bit of a sound. L, like a L. L'che, L'che, L'che. Sure. <laughs> Very good. So the reason why you want to keep practicing is that they, they become sight letters and not, oh my God, where's the cheat sheet? So again, the, the instructions at the bottom of page five says a chaf, that shape is used at the beginning or the middle of the word, but the final chaf, that shape is used only at the end of the word. Okay, I know we're going to get, we're going to do a little confusing now. Okay. So we learned the vowel, and I just want to skip across. This is page six if you're in the book, and I just want you to know page seven is going to do the same thing. Oh, no, it isn't. Page eight is going to do the same thing. Just want you to see that, okay? Seven is two new vowels. I'm going to write. This is the A, long A vowel. In two more pages, we're going to have the long E vowel. They are dots, two dots. And I'm not going to make you crazy, but one dot. You learn those. Don't ask me why we spell words the way we spell them. I don't know. But what page six and page eight are going to teach us is that sometimes at the end of a word, they're going to shove a yud there. This little guy that lives in my box all the way at the top, the little guy, it's a yud. His name is a yud. You don't have to learn him yet. It's a little teeny apostrophe up there. Forget it. You know how in English, the Y is sometimes a vowel and sometimes a letter? The Yud is like that. And it's easy because it's a Y and we know Y in English. Sometimes the Yud will be a Y sound, just as it should be. Like in English, it's a Y. But sometimes, well, the English, we don't, it doesn't change the sound. It just becomes different. In Hebrew, sometimes it becomes a vowel. So let me erase this for a moment. When you have the A, where'd my pointer go? The A, ooh, here we go. The A by itself, or the A with the, I'm gonna put an olive here. I could have put a smiley face. An olive is a silent letter, you don't know it yet. You know what? I'm not gonna make it that confusing. Oh, yes I am. Shoot, where'd I go? Share. Okay. An A by itself, or if I had a smiley face here, don't worry about a silent letter right now. The A with the Yud next to it equals the A. Why they put the Yud there, I don't know. So look at line one, which is of course the hardest letter to say. <laughs> it's just hey, 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 hey. With the Yud or without, no difference. It's a spelling issue. It's not a pronunciation issue. Half the words in English are filled with letters we never need to know. And we wonder why they're in there. And we don't know. They just, how they spell them. You know, if you had to write the word please, why is the A even in there? It could have been two E's or one E. So ours is not to question how you spell. Ours is just to understand how to read it. So look at line two, it's he, le he, he, le he, le he, he. 
with or without the yud, it's still a long a. <clears throat> okay. So don't get confused. Oopsie. Let me erase it. At the beginning, it gets a lot confusing because there's a lot of new things. I promise you, in a couple of weeks, you'll know all the letters. You'll know all the vowels. The letters are different. The letters, who cares? You just learn the letter. Once you get all the vowels under your belt, there's not that many. You'll you'll realize. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. So let's let's not look at the first two three lines because it's hard to just say them. But look aesthetic. Just look at them visually. Some have the yud. Some don't. You see it. Line three has the yud everywhere. It's still an A. So line four is me, ma, la. Lache. Lache with right there. Ma, lache. Meal, che, line five. I'll just do one more and then you could do them. Meal, che. This way it's on the recording if someone else is following along. Meal, che, meal, che, meal, che. That was up to line five. So now I'm going to push this thing up. And let's begin. Everybody okay? Catch a breath. You're okay? Good. We'll go backwards. Beth, why don't you do line seven? And it's I'll give you a hint. It's a two-syllable word. <clears throat> Mel, isn't that Melche? Yes, it is. Oh. Everyone look so, at it. Melche. Mel the whole line. The whole line, Mel K. Very good. So line. how do you know a question? Yeah. So we're putting the the Mem and the Lamed together, Mel. How do you know if, would they ever be separate? Like Mel? It's phonetics. Right? So so it's if, all... the letter, if the letter has a vowel, it becomes a syllable. If oh, oh. doesn't have a vowel, it goes to the guy ahead of him. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And so what you would never have are two letters next to each other, neither with a vowel, because only one guy could go to the guy ahead of him. So you look at line eight. You would never have the mem, the lamid, another lamid with no vowel and the hey. Because he goes before him. He doesn't go after. Mm. So that becomes a syllable. Mel, like Mel Brooks again, hey. But look at the second word, everybody. Mel, melech, melech. Two syllables. Look at this word here, line eight. Mel. Okay. 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 Now look at line nine, everybody. We'll just do it together. Look at this word here. Me one Mella. syllable. One minute. Two syllables. Three syllables because he doesn't have a vowel. He's finishing a word. He goes to the guy ahead of him. Me, ma, okay. All right. Bacha, why don't you do line nine? Now that I drew all over it, but go ahead. Melech. Mel is correct, but it's Mel K. Mel K. Yes. Me Melech. Yes. Uh, yes. Mel Mel K. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Me Melech. Yes. Melech. Melech. No, 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 F, F. The three dots are F. Mele. Mele. Yeah. Now, if you really want to have a cheat sheet, don't forget, and I'm going to send you the picture of the, of the, um, the colors, because that, I love that cheat sheet. Don't forget, for those of you that are struggling with the vowels, they're at the bottom of page two. There the three of them are, the E, the A, and the F. So if you want, just 
draw those three. If, make a balance sheet, cheat sheet. It's easy. All right. Who have we lost? Everybody, Lenore, you want to do line, uh, let's see. Lenore, do line nine. Okay. Me, what is it? Me, Lech? Nope. Line nine. First vowel. Oh, first vowel is me. That's right. Melech. Mel, nope. Melcha. Mel, Melche. Melche. Yes. Look at it and do it again. Say that little word again. Melche. Very good. Melche. And me, Melech. Me, Melech. Me, Melech. Melche. Me, Melech. Me, 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 No, no, no. Me, no. Ke, oh, me, Mel K. Mel K. That's right. So you gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta study. Okay. And look at those vowels and just know them. The little bowling pin, the three little holes, like a bowling pin fingers, is an eh. Eh, eh, eh. All right. Anyone take a breath? You're all good. Anyone quitting it? Okay, no, don't quit, don't quit, I promise. If we need to go slow, we'll go slower. I don't care, we'll do it in two years. Um, a, again, it's an A vowel, just as the two dots by itself. Okay, all right. We're only gonna learn two new vowels today. Most of us are, well, who's in this group that's under 50? Some of you are under 50. If you're under 50 and you go to synagogue and you hear anybody my age or older, you're going to hear them say, Boruch Atoa Adonoi. <laughs> if you have anybody that's 50 and under, they didn't learn the Ashkenazi way, they learn the Sephardic way. And we say, Baruch Ata Adonai. Anybody older than all of us, well, my age and older, say Bas Mitzvah. Mm -hmm. They don't say that anymore. They say Bat Mitzvah. Bat, bat mitzvah yeah. We say, happy, you know, circus is coming. Nowadays, they say Sukkot T, not an S, is coming. Mm -hmm. Uh, there were two main changes 20 some odd years ago, 20, I don't remember. Don't, don't quote me. I have no idea, but not 50 years ago. The two main changes was one letter, which is a Tav letter to T sound, but Sukkot. There is a dot in that letter. Every time there's a dot in a letter, it changes the letter, but they decided the Ashkenazi way was to change it to a T versus an S. But in Israel and the Sephardic way, they were both T's. We're not doing that today. But the two vowels we learned. I have a marker here somewhere. We learned, again, I'm making an aleph because an aleph is silent. You don't know that yet, but I'm sharing that with you. I could have made a smiley face. We learned those as two vowels that are different. The straight line was an ah, and the little t was an or. Boruch, ah, to, adonoi. We now have equal them. And they have become an ah. So when an older man goes up and says his Aaliyah, and he's going to say, and say, wait a minute, I thought that's an ah vowel. It is. But he learned it the Ashkenazi way. And we've all decided if they're doing it in Israel, we should all do what in Israel does. So we all learn the Sephardic way. Unless you have somebody older who says, I'm not changing it, that's how I learned it. It's not wrong. It's just not how the kids are taught now. I'm going to teach you the, the Sephardic way. 
we're going to make them equal. They're both an A, uh, the straight line and the little t. Under any letter is an A, uh, like in, um, let me think of the color, it's green, gray. Aqua is the color. I knew there was a color. I have a chart that has colors on it. It's cute. Uh, we'll send it to you. I'm underlining it so you know the A, uh, because it's a color chart, obviously. Aqua, because I said the A uh is red, the green is E, the uh, gray is right. So aqua, uh, aqua uh, equals, again, straight line and little t equals an A. Uh. No exceptions. Okay, sometimes there are exceptions, not in that. Everybody got it? All right. Catch your breath. Here we go. We're... Is she done yet? No, I'm not. I'm not done. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go with the letters that you know. Remember the mem is the mountain, the L is the lamet, it sticks his head up. And the chak, that's all we've gotten so far. We haven't ventured further, but we're doing a whole slew of vowels with those letters that you know. So the first line all together, we can just do it in unison, even though it'll sound ridiculous. Ma, 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 ma la, 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 la. Elise, do line two. Ma, la, Good. ma, la, ma, la. Ma, la. Oh, I'm sorry, la ma, la ma, la la, ma ma. Perfect. Right, right, everybody? Perfect. Okay, and Lenore, do three. Ma, 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 me, oh my God, mel. No, why are you changing the vowel? I'm changing, oh, it's the, never mind. Mal, mal, mal. Right, like mal a la tête in Hebrew, with, in French, it's a headache. Okay, mal. <laughs> I'm going to shop in the mall, but no, I don't say that. Okay. All right. Line four. Let it, and again, um, Bacha do four. It's easy. Mall. Yes. Mall. 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 The, and there you go. It Thank can't you. be easier. Right, 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 right. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to trick you a little bit. Um, Ashley, do five. Five. Okay. Mal, mal, mal. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I know. I'm not that nice. Line six. Yes. Here we go, Ben. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, hey. Line six, Ben. Ma, ma, mal. Lech, lech, We're giving the L. Lech, no, we would never oh. be like this. Lech, malch, good. Malch, ha. No, no, no. Malch, oh, malch, oh, malch. Yes, yes, yes. Look at these two. Equal. Look at them. Malch, malch. Now it's giving us an exclamation because that's one of the words and it's a real word and that's in our Shalom Aleichem, Malche. Right? You've heard that word before. Okay, we'll erase before I go further. Very good. So now let's scoot down here. Let's do something harder. All right, Elise, do line nine. Nine? Sure. Uh -huh. Marche, yes. Marche, yes, yes, yes. Marche, yes. Me, le, oh, me, le. No, what's the vowel? Three little dots is it? A, 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 a. Me, le, me, le, me, le. No, you're making it too hard. It's okay. just, it's much easier. Me, le. Me, me, le. Like, a, like the red, like in the word red, it's a short E. Me, lech. Me, lech. 
Good. And the last word is? Um, you said it. Mail. 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 Right. So again, it's a matter of these, of the vowels and the letters. Perfect. All right. We'll get there. Don't, no, no, don't, don't do that. You'll, you'll be fine. Just keep taking that cheat sheet out of the vowels and remember the five. Now, you know, five vowels, which is a lot. So you, it's going to be a little confusing. So make a sheet, just the vowels, and you'll have them right there before you. Beth, you want to do seven, uh, 11? It's pretty easy. Or me, me. Yes. Lech. Good. Me mech. Yes. Me mel. Me mele. Yeah. And lech. Perfect. Let's look at line 11 again, even though Beth just did it. So we'll all do it together. Me. 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 Lech. Me mech. Me, 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 All right, we're on a roll. Ashley, why don't you do 12? Okay. Mel, Mel, hey. What's the vowel under the mem? It's our new vowel. Ma oh, sorry. Yeah, don't be mal sorry. sorry, yeah. Don't okay, mal, hey. Good. Um, me, me, lech. Yes. Yes. Mal, hey. hey. Good. Hey. Um, me, me, lech. Yes. Mal, hey. Fabulous. Okay. Fabulous. You got it. You got hey. it. Sorry, Sorry, I keep going on mute. Who's on mute? I, no, I'm just, I, I, it takes me a minute because I'm, I have two sick kids in the background. So that's why oh. I'm muted. But I am okay. still, I am still reading along in okay. case you can't hear me. All right, we're going to do one more thing today. Um, because once we get the vowels done, we're really going to be almost home free because again, the letters are just the letters. And remember what I told you with the two dots next to each other with the yud? Well, here's the second way that that could happen. The one dot with the one dot and a yud equals, equals, equals a long E like in the word green. Just send you my color chart. So again, it's the same thing. Me, 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 Lee, 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 me. Say it just line one, me, 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 with the yud, without the yud, Lee, without the yud, Lee, with the yud, mem, with the yud, me, 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 me. Second line again is he, 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 he. I'm not doing it. I'm not that crazy. All right, let's, let's go down so it's a little bit easier to say. And this is just a practice of all the vowel. Line three is just practicing the E vowel. Remember, one dot is an E, long E. So line three, he, 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 li, li, he, me, he. Line four, he, he, la, he, la, he, la, he, la, he. So five, Elise. Okay. Um. Oh, that's a long E that... No, the little T. I'll ah, cheat sheet la, over here. I'll give you la, the cheat sheet. Those okay. equal an A. I'll put it yeah, right on. La, there. la, um, mala, mala, la, oh, la, la, yes. la, he. Yes, 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 yes. La, he. Yes, by George, she's got it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bacha, why don't you do six? Sometimes people have muted, so we'll give her a second. And the one dot, where are we going to go? One dot or one it dot is um, a is a he. All right. 
Le La um la he I'm sorry, la he yes, yes. Uh, line six, woman, line six, second word. She just did it right. La he. La he. Yeah. Uh, me. Well, there's no way that they, a word would start with a mem with no vowel. I'm sorry. So just make it a me, like a short M. Mela. Mela. Yeah, mela, mela. Right. Mela. Uh, mela. Uh, mele. So let's go to this last Malachi. one. Malachi. Good. Well, it really would end up being Milachi, but that's fine. It's fine. It, it, you'd never have that, so I don't want you to even spend time. As long as you remembered it was an M, I'm a happy girl. Because you would never have that just sitting there like that, okay? It, the mems would never just get a no vowel underneath it when it starts a word. It always will have a vowel. I, I don't know why these don't, okay? So let's go to the hard ones, line nine, and let's do with uh, Ashley, line nine. Okay. Melek. Good. Mal. Hey. Yes. Okay. Melachi. Melachi, good. Melachi. Yeah. And Melachi. Perfect. Beth, do line 10. Me melech mal malach hey not really it no. would be two syllables so oh, ma malach oh. mal hey mal hey oh yeah. mal hey right make it like a, a mem with an apostrophe so me um, mela mela he? Yes. Melchi or yeah. Melchi? It, 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 it would never be a word, but in this case, you know, it's it hard. Melachi. Melach and Melachi, Melachi. Perfect. I'm going to stop. Hold on. I'm going to make your lives all easy. I'm not going to go any further. I want you to look at this, everybody. By yourselves, because I can't do it with you. Go to the first line and just in your own mind or fingers, if you have the book, put your finger on the lamas. Just do it yourselves. This is an honor system here. Put your finger on the first line and all the lamas. How many are there? Five. There, anybody dispute her? We all agree. Good. Put your finger on the chafs. Final or regular, doesn't matter. How many chafs are there? Three. Yes, yeah. I see three too, as well. <laughs> three too. <laughs> three as well. Put your finger on the mems. What have you got? Four. Right now, I don't oh. want you to do the final one because you don't know oh. what you're Regular beginning mem, the little mountain guy. How many beginning little mountains are there? Two. That's right, two. Put your finger on the vowel that would be an ah sound, the little T or the straight line. Four. I counted myself. Oh, I see many more than four. Wait. The little ah uh, vowel. The T little guy or the straight line little guy? Six? I got eight. Ooh, there am I. All right, line one. Where is underneath the first letter there's a little T? Right. Line the second. Words underneath the first letter, there's a little line. Mm -hmm. That's don't two. Worry about the, don't worry about the other so the line with the two dots is yeah, not don't worry a about separate that. vowel? A, yeah, no, it's a way of pronouncing it. It's just a, a short, it shortens it. Don't even worry about it yet. But that's the hardest thing to learn is that two up and down, guys. So we're not up to that yet. 
So okay, but that's it's, still it's, one of the val the valves we're looking at. It yeah, it, it's a way the line see, part. The line part. Look at okay. the third part. There's one yes. under the bow. Um, mm -hmm. and that word yeah. is mal, mal, okay. So you see two of those vowels. Look at the next word under the first letter. That's it. And under the second letter, they're both the same vowel. Mm -hmm. And the last next to the last word, there's two under the mem and under that aleph, which you don't know yet. There's two. So there's a lot of those in that line, right? Go to line um, six. How many S are there? Short E's. F, there's little bowling dots, holes in the bowling ball. That's two. That's right. First word. Me, ma, la. Yeah. Don't worry about the dots in that final hoof, uh, final half. It just, okay. they, they don't make us nuts. They're not there for any value. Mi melech. So look at the first word of line two, four, six, and eight. Mi melech. You know it already. And you know the second word. Malche. Hey. Okay. Mi melech malche. Mi melech malche. Line two, line four, line six, line eight. Mi melech malche. Sometimes you'll hear someone say malche. It, it's not right or wrong. It's what you do with those two up and down dots, which we don't care about right now. So you might hear some people say malache, and that's fine. Or malche. Depends what your cantor says. It's it's really how you're singing that song, malache. Most of us, I guess, go malache. Okay. All right. I'm not going to share a screen anymore. All right. So again. I want you just to practice. And again, they're going to be, so now you have, last week, just to review, we did the mem, the lamed, the final chaf, and three vowels. So make sure you know those. Today, we did the regular shape of the chaf. The bottom line is back up in the box. It's a regular chaf. It lives in the box. There it is is that's today's not to confuse you but eventually there's going to be another letter that looks just like it but what do you yeah. see different i put an arrow there you see the difference the line. bottom line doesn't go connected it has it goes a little further and again it's a matter of the font remember last week i showed you we don't know these letters at all, but remember we showed you these two letters. They look, they live in that box the same place. They go along the top, they go along the side, but you have to notice in the font that one of them has a rounded corner and one has a little dent. So you just have to make sure that you can differentiate things that look similar. And again, I here's have a, a question. Yeah, sure. Um, the I wasn't here, but the box system, is that part of, uh, is there a printout for the box system? No, it's Margie's way to teach second graders where things live in a spatial world. Okay. Because the kids can understand, they look the same shape. It looks like a little number seven. So how come it's three different letters? I said, yes, you're making the same shape of a little number seven, but how big is your seven? How tall is your seven? How fat is your seven? And so I realized that for kids, they, they can understand it in a space of the same space. Then they can differentiate how big, fat, long it is. So that was my own system. And again, here's three more. We're not learning these letters yet. But if I told you in my box, they're all the same. The top line is the same. The side line is the same but it's that other line that's different. And what I didn't, I think I sent you or I didn't send you. My favorite cheat sheet is this. And I, I can take a picture or I can find it and send it to you. And it'll give you the tricks. So just for you to see this, look at this. 
there are three letters that look similar. You're not going to know this now, but the hey, I always think of what's the first letter, has a hole in it. Don't worry about the head. You got to learn them. You just have to learn it. But the same shape, the tom has a toe. So there are going to be little tricks. Oh, here's my cheat sheet in color, except that I don't have it in color if I don't have all the crayons here. But in my classroom, I had it all in crayon. It, so aqua was in done in aqua. Pink was done in pink. Green was done in green. If I can try to do that in the colors, I have some markers here. I'll take a picture of it and I'll send it to you. I just, you know, to me, I don't care if you're 50 or five. You, you, to me, just where things live in a space, then you can appreciate and understand it. So I created the box. My magic box lives in my little world. Um, <laughs> but I think it helps. I just think it, it makes it simple, right? Mm -hmm. All right, take a deep breath. Again, go to services if you can. Don't bother reading along. You don't care. You're only going to read along what you memorized wrong 20 years ago. Just look for the letters you know. Honey, honey. Just <laughs> look for the sounds and the vowels you know. And try to, hello, sweetheart. I'm sorry you're sick. We're so sorry you're sick. These are mommy's friends. You want to you say Boca Tov? Hey, Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Get the cookies. Oh. <laughs> fun. Super yeah. fun. Yeah, there Sick you go. days. Yeah. So Snow practice, days, days. Practice. practice, practice, practice. You know what page we're up to in the book. Let me just find. We didn't finish chapter one, although we have only one more letter to learn, but I think it's enough already. So let's just say you should be practicing up to page eight because that's what we've done. And the other two are just, it, they're easy. They're just simple letters. So practice it. If you practice, then every time you see that value, you're going to know it. Fair enough? Yep. All, right. All right. Don't quit. Don't quit. I know it's confusing <laughs> at the beginning. Please don't quit. Oh my God, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take my salary. I do this for nothing, by the way. Don't even think I make money. Um, have a great Shabbat. Feel better for your babies, Ashley. And uh, nice to see you for the girls that weren't here last week, Beth. And, and, um, and Marianne will be back next week. And mm -hmm. I will try to find our one missing person, Sonia. And as I said, Rosalind decided she knew all the letters and vowels. So she went on to, she's, she's skipping a break. All right. Have a great Shabbat, ladies. And I will say Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shalom. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.